Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the volume flow indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below in the description, and you should also see it pop up in the top corner right now. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform where we are having great discussions about all things to do with trading. Lastly, I get people who ask me if I can send them a list of all the winning indicators that we have discovered. If you are interested in receiving a list of all the indicators that we have tested, including the ones that we have discovered, but you are not interested in going back and watching all the videos from the beginning and all the way through to date, then what you can do is you can sign up for our Patreon. If you sign up for the $9 a month Patreon, then I will send you a list of all the indicators that we have tested to date. I also send out a updated list every week of all the indicators that we have tested up to that point. And if you are just interested in supporting the channel, there is a lower tier Patreon at about $3 a month that you can sign up for as well. So look for the Patreon link down below in the description to sign up for either of those. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the volume flow indicator. But before we do, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 226 indicators. And out of those 226 indicators, 86 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 86 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right, so today's indicator is the volume flow indicator. You can see it here on the bottom of the screen it's a pretty simple setup so we have a green uh the green oscillating line here which is the volume flow line and then we have a zero line and then we have um, um I, I guess you could call the little orange line a trigger line let's see if it's the ema of the volume flow index and so Oddly enough, we are not going to be looking at the volume flow, the EMA of the volume flow. And we are going to change this to a line. And let's make it orange so it's easier to see. And we will set it up like that. So the creator of the, indi uh, of the indicator explained that the indicator works best when above zero is a buy signal and below zero is a sell signal. 
And so that's pretty much how we will be testing it today. We have the zero line, and so when the main uh, volume flow line drops below uh, the zero line, that is a short. When it uh, goes up above the zero line, that will be a long. Now, it's interesting to note that this is different than, um, say, like the money flow indicator or some of the other indicators that uh, kind of read off of volume. Basically, a very short description of this indicator is that it calculates off of the median price of each candle. And so it's not going off of the open or the close, but it's going off of the average or median price that the candle uh, the price that the candle kind of stayed at or, you know, was throughout its life cycle. So it calculates a little bit differently and thought it would be interesting enough to test it, uh, possibly as a volume indicator. Uh, we'll see. But let's go ahead and get on with the testing here and see what we can get out of it. Let's do this as well. Let's bump up the opacity of that. And give it a little bit more, a little bit more uh, depth to it there. All right, so let's go on here. So it looks like we get the first cross to the upside. It takes place right. Oops, I think that was a little early. So it takes place right there on that candle. Let's measure it out and see what we get to 65 pips. And so that does get us to take profit. It does not come down here and doesn't break below the line to the downside. So we're still in an uptrend at this point or up into the buy zone. Now, I thought initially whenever I was looking at this indicator that the way we would be testing it was to test it with the cross of the EMA. Uh, but then again, after reading the description that the creator put out, read it multiple times just to make sure that I was understanding it correctly, but it does appear as though the recommendation was to trade it off of the zero line cross. So we got a couple losing trades there, unfortunately. Another one right here. Now, alternatively, the creator did say that the best way to use any kind of money flow was to uh, use it as divergence. And so that is something that is possible, but is extremely challenging to test. And so it's not something that we can really test here on the channel. But if you wanted to play around with it on the on your own, then it is it is possible that you might be able to get something reasonable out of it that way and basically what you would do is just a quick run through so you would set it up on the histogram version like so and uh, let's see plot you could change these here to say you know purple or whatever whatever color you wanted it as columns if you wanted to and now you have the histogram and you would look for divergence from peak to peak but again that's not something that we're messing with today but that is like I said a possibility all right let's continue on with it here so we pick up a short right here on this side I am trying to make videos shorter and so we're trying to get through the testing a lot quicker than we normally would. And so I apologize if I do miss some signals. You know, uh, one of the viewers pointed that out in one of the last videos. 
that I did was that I had missed a couple signals. I did go back and look at those signals and it did not change uh, the uh, winning status of that indicator. But I'm trying to be more attentive to making sure I'm catching all the signals and not missing any. Of a short right here. That one does not work out for us. Speaking of missing one, I did miss one back over here. Right there on that one. Yep, I did. Okay, there, there. That didn't cross down below, and so we're still good there. All right, so let's carry on here. So like we do pick up a short right there. Ooh, that one barely got us to take profit. And we pick up a long over here. Don't think that one got us to take profit. It did not. And then over here on this side, it gave us a short right there for just a moment. Yep. For just a moment. Then it give us another long right there. That one did get us to take profit. So let's continue on here. Pick up a short right there. Right there on that one. So that one worked out for us. And we pick up a long right here. We got to take profit. We did not. Then a short here, which we ride out for a few candles there, enough to get us to uh, there. We go, enough to get us to take profit. Oh, come on! There we go. We get this one right here. Here, let me double check. So it drops down on this one. I do not think that got us to 50 pips though. Nope, it did not. Then a short here. And that puts us at the end of the year. Right there. All right, let's add these up and see what we get out of it. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So 19 signals all together, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So unfortunately, that is not going to meet the 60% criteria that we were looking for. It's definitely some better indicators out there. This one's going, going to go on the no list, and we will move on to the next indicator from here. If you have not already, like this video, share this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. So that way you know what indicators we have tested and are testing. Also, there is a link down below to join our Discord server, which is a free group communication platform where we discuss all things trading related. There is also a link down below to TradingView, and if you use that link to TradingView to sign up for an account, you will save a little bit of money. 
And lastly, there is a link down below to sign up for Patreon. Please sign up for the Patreon and support the channel the best way you can.